how do we convince our clients to keep investing in SEO when all of them are implementing cutbacks to the poor economy or due to the poor economy? Well, you know, that, that immediately reminds me of a joke. There was a guy standing next to one of those, uh, you know, things on the wall in case of emergency break glass. Mm -hmm. And the joke was you could see that they broke the glass and they're reading the note that was inside. And the note says, cut marketing budget. That seems to be the initial reaction because mm -hmm. you have a choice. Do I cut back on marketing because theoretically my competitors are going to do the same thing or do I cut back on staff? Mm -hmm. And it's far less painful psychologically for management to cut back on marketing. The problem you have is that you have to trust that the problem is short term because marketing is a ripple effect, right? You, if you cut back on marketing, you may not necessarily see the consequence of that cutback because of sales cycles and leads and sales team and everything else. You may not even see the impact of it for months. So if it's short term, a lot of companies believe cutting back on marketing makes sense because they can recover quickly later if it is short term. The problem is, usually by the time you're into a recession, it isn't going to be short term. I wrote a blog post and I'm in the process of refreshing it where it says you're in a race, you're number 10, nine people in front of you are running and all of a sudden all nine come to a complete stop. What do you do? You only have two things. You either slow down to keep pace with everybody, right? It's sort of like you're not speeding if you're doing the same speed as everybody, right? <laughs> you either slow down or you run faster. Those are your only two choices. And if you run faster, then you're the incumbent, you're in the lead, they have to catch up to you, and they're from a dead stop and you're still running. So which way should it be? Well, I think you are almost obligated to maybe cut back on waste because there's always waste in everything. Uh, every three months, I look at my company and try to figure out what did I let creep in here that was a great idea at the time that's not working? <laughs> because that, you know, if you're not innovating, you're not growing. But not everything you innovate on is a good idea. Lead gen processes aren't always as effective as they should be. And in a recession, the performance of one process may fail and the performance of another one may grow. So you have to evaluate it and put your money where it makes the most sense. My take is shift your money, not cut your money, but that's just me. How do we convince a customer uh, not to cut their marketing budget? All right, let's think about what is SEO. And this is a pet peeve of mine. Um, Pay-per-click is an advertisement. Magazines are advertisements. Conferences are more long-term. Those, those are more branding and, and lead gen, long-term lead gen things. Uh, SEO is not a, hi, I changed something on the web page. It's going to show up tomorrow. I'm going to get this many leads. It isn't an ad. SEO is not advertising. SEO is branding. SEO is keeping top of mind recall. SEO is why you're going to survive the recession. You have to be aware of where SEO plays, but it's not an ad. I can understand in marketing that they cut back on ads because that can be turned on in an instant if, it, if it's a mistake. But if you shut down SEO, you're going to you're going to pay the price for a year. And yeah, SEO takes a while to, to unwind. But once it starts unwinding, it takes a while to get it back. Anybody that's ever done an SEO project knows that it takes a while to show the results. If you stop, and your competition doesn't, 
you may not get back. And, and you do more harm to your brand by cutting SEO than cutting pay-per-click. You do more harm to your brand by uh, taking in diminishing top of mind recall, which is where SEO plays, than cutting out on, oh, that one conference that we never sell anybody, or that uh, one ad in this magazine that has dropping circulation, or yeah, I'm doing that, and the click-through rate is 0.001%. It may be your favorite, but not for your clients. Yeah, I'd say evaluate your marketing spend. Put, put your money where you're going to get the longest-term value. Understand SEO is not advertising. Understand that you can't destroy your brand. It's too hard to gain it's too hard to hold it's the last thing you want to get rid of and besides if your competition is asleep at the wheel and you're the only one running you're going to pass them up and you're going to win that's my take now how do you convince somebody that has no money all right if i'm sitting here trying to make payroll i'm falling behind on my irs taxes and you're telling me to do seo I think SEO is gone, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But quite frankly, if, if you're falling behind on your IRS taxes, you're probably gone too. So it's just the way it is. If you want to ask Bruce Clay your SEO question, head on over to seotraining.com slash pages slash webinar and register to join our next live webinar with the father of SEO himself. It's completely free and allows you to get the SEO insights you need for your website. So sign up today so you don't miss out.